Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Trevor Beck. Hey gang, Trevor Beck here. I want to talk to you today about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows us to take a look at the contents of a cell in a spreadsheet and then define a color for the background of that cell or for the actual text itself. The example I'm going to use here is for a scavenger list. The nice thing about this is it's something that I could share with another person and then as we both go in different directions, we can indicate to each other through our shared document what items we still need to get. Let's take a look at how I'd actually set up this. The first step I need to do is to select the cells that I'm interested in applying my formatting to. In this case, I'll just select the whole B column. Under the Format menu, you'll find Conditional Formatting. In this menu, you can see all sorts of different choices that you can get, everything from date, numbers, or in this case, text containing or does not contain. I'm going to start with text contains. If the text contains the letter N, which indicates no, I want the background color here to be red. If the text happens to contain yes, I want the background to be green. This way I'll know which items I have got already and which ones I still need to get. Because at this point in time, I'm going to start off with nothing. I'm going to start by entering the N here now. And I can fill down by just clicking on this corner here, drag it down, and everything gets filled in and no. Now you'll notice that I'm in this view here. I've actually shared this document with my other cohort who's helping me out in this case. And as I go look at his page, we can see that he's also seeing the exact same thing. This is one of the beauty of sharing and collaborating with somebody through Google Documents. As we update stuff, it will be updated on both our documents. So we don't even have to be scavenging together. We can go and scavenge separately. Now, as I find an item, I just have to put in the letter Y. I can make my way down and continue doing so. Meanwhile, back on my cohorts page, he also sees the same thing. The Ys have it. There's a lot of great application that you can make use of for conditional formatting, especially when you work with people and you want to check things off. So that's conditional formatting. Hope you guys learned something from that, and I hope to see you again soon.